This is a second stimulus check update. Crazy news has happened. I can't even believe it. I'll get into that in the first part of the video. Also, I'll answer important questions that you've had about the $600 stimulus check and the $2,000 stimulus check comeback. It officially died, but two Republicans just said that it can come back and be even more than $2,000. I'll get into details on that later on. But first, Let's talk about the crazy news. So Nancy Pelosi and Mitch McConnell's homes got vandalized. So this is Nancy Pelosi's home, has some graffiti, had a pig's head, had some blood or fake blood on the floor. This is fake blood. Uh, and then Mitch McConnell's home, this is Mitch McConnell's home uh, that got spray painted. So let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Uh, did they have this coming or did the vandalists uh, take this too far? Do they cross the line? I'm really curious your thoughts about this. Uh, so this is Mitch McConnell's home and you know the graffiti that's on it. It shows his home address right there. Uh, really strange. But you would think someone with a $35 million net worth wouldn't even be sharing a home. He would have a fence around his home, more security. Uh, so I'm not sure if this was a spare home of Mitch McConnell's. Also, another thing that was interesting is Nancy Pelosi's home here, uh, it's only like one foot away from the public sidewalk. So I'm not sure like what type of security these people have. Uh, Nancy Pelosi has a net worth of over $100 million. You would think that she would have like more beefed up security. Uh, really strange. Anyways, let me know what you think about this. Uh, so the $2,000 stimulus check officially died in the old Congress. The old Congress session, 116th session, ended a couple days ago, and the official 117th new Congress starts today. So anyone who got voted into office is starting today. Anyone out who got voted out is officially out and gone history. So today is the day for new Congress uh, to start. Now, the $2,000 stimulus check, Josh Hawley said right before it got killed, he said, with all due respect, this doesn't seem to be a Republicans versus Democrats issue. This seems to be the Senate versus the United States of America. I agree with this. Let me know what you think about this, but I would take it two steps further. I think it was Mitch McConnell versus the United States of America because he held all the power in having a vote. And I would even take it a step further. It was the haves versus the have nots. Mitch McConnell could have had a vote, just a simple vote. It may not have even passed, but he could have held a vote for the $2,000 stimulus check. He did not. He withheld that. And I think that's why a lot of people were upset. Now, I'm going to play you a clip. Two Republicans are talking about how the next stimulus check that could happen could be even more than $2,000 and make this $2,000 stimulus check bill look cheap. Uh, here's the clip of Representative Comer and Lindsey Graham. Republican Congressman James Comer of Kentucky, ranking member on the House Oversight Committee. What do you want to see next for your party when it comes to this standoff over stimulus? Well, I strongly support the president. Uh, one of the problems that the Senate has right now is that the president has uh, instilled upon the Republican base that uh, this is direct stimulus to them. Uh, even though I think the, the CARES Act did a great deal to save our economy uh, with respect to small businesses and keeping workers on the payrolls and a lot of struggling businesses, there are a lot of Americans that didn't feel the effects of the stimulus. And the president, uh, with his plan for $2,000 to every individual that qualifies from an income standpoint is something that's very popular with Republicans. And obviously it's popular with the Democrats. If you go back to the, to the uh, stimulus vote last week, one of the problems they had is the, the leaders in the House and the Senate combined a lot of different bills onto one vote. And in the minds of the base, I think that's what's tr happening right now in the Senate. So uh, I wish the Senate would start having standalone votes on different bills. I think that would be better received by the American people. And I think that would help the Senate get their message out that they're trying to do the right thing and trying to have uh, offsets but at the same time trying to help the American people. And obviously with the balance of power in the Senate, um, hanging in the balance, I should say, down in Georgia, all of this, all it, it comes down to this, doesn't it, Congressman? Lindsey Graham weighed in just a few moments ago on Fox News Watch. And if we lose Georgia, this bill is going to seem really cheap because if we lose the Senate and they have control of the House, the Senate and the White House, they're going to send over a monster of a bill and will pale, make this bill look cheap. So what about that? Lindsey Graham's exactly right. Uh, what we've seen will, from Democrats in the past is, uh, you know, there's no fear of running the debt up to the moon. And I think that 
what will happen if we lose those Senate races in Georgia is they will come back with a bill that not only will have the $2,000, which is what I think a majority of Americans want, they're also going to put uh, elimination of student loan debt. They're probably going to have more pork than uh, has ever been put on a bill in the history of America on a bill. If you're confusing intelligent people about what Congress is doing, then you're not doing your okay. job in leadership. So I, I hope that we can get back to regular order. And, and you know, it's, I don't really agree with what's going on in the Senate. I'll right ask now. you why, why it's come to this and why it's come to now, obviously, and why it's taken so long in just a moment. But here's Josh Hawley, another one of your uh, Republican colleagues, arguing mm -hmm. that if there's enough money for Wall Street bailouts, certainly there's enough money for everyday Americans who are struggling. Watch. For all the people who say we don't have the money, I noticed that we seem to have plenty of money when it came to bailing out Wall Street. That didn't seem to be a problem. I noticed that we seem to have plenty of money when it came to shipping money overseas. That didn't seem to be a problem. But now when working people need help, it's, oh, heavens, we can't possibly do that. I suggest that the priorities are wrong. So even the Republicans are saying that if the Democrats win the Georgia Senate, that this $2,000 stimulus check will look cheap and it'll probably be a lot more because if the Democrats have the presidency, have the House, have the Senate, they can make a bill as big as they want, as big the stimulus checks as big as they want, recurring, they could do whatever they want and they have full control and they could just pass it through because all they need is the House, the Senate, and the President to sign off on it. So that could be the potential. So far, the Georgia Senate run, runoff race is in the favor of the Democrats. Democrats are winning about a point or two per candidate. Uh, and the, the vote is on January 5th, just a couple of days away. So uh, we could see bigger stimulus checks happening. Uh, but let me know what you think about that down in the comments below. Even the Republicans are saying that they should have had a standalone bill done. I uh, find it really interesting. Anyways, let's talk about the $600 stimulus check now. So uh, Droobs White asks, I filed 2018, but not 2019. Do I still get a $600 stimulus check? Yes, you should. So if you're a non-filer, you should be able to get it the same way you should have gotten the $1,200 stimulus check. Also, really interesting thing regarding child support here. Kathleen Clare said, I did receive my stimulus deposit. Also, my brother who was on SSDI and owes child support got his. So uh, this is according to Kathleen Clare saying that someone who, who's on, who owes child support got his stimulus check, uh, but he did not get the first stimulus. Uh, yeah, thank you for your help, Kathleen. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you are on child support, did you receive your stimulus check yet? We haven't received any info from the IRS regarding that. Uh, also, I think there are a couple more questions here. Cindy Branson, why can't I get an answer about the dependents 17 and over for the st second stimulus check? So to answer your question, anybody 17 and older, if claimed as a dependent, will not receive a second stimulus check. So they could be 17, they could be 65, 75, it doesn't matter what the age is. Anyone 17 and older claimed as a dependent, unfortunately, will not receive a second stimulus check. Same time with the first stimulus check. Uh, also, Ryan Wong asked, what happened to the credit card video. So if you weren't aware, I originally started this video making credit card videos and then stumbled upon the stimulus content. I originally thought this was only gonna be a month, maybe two months max of talking about stimulus checks, but because of the incompetence of the government, that's the reason why it's been taking so long. So eventually I will get back into credit card videos. That is all the stimulus news I have for you today. To cheer up your mood and brighten your day a bit, here is my daughter Bella's tip of the day. Hi guys, this is Belle. This is the tip of the day. I want to tell you the one thing that you should do. When there's trees, you, sh you should think of going outside because that there's no air inside unless you have plants. But anyways, there's still air. But but actually, but outside there's more air for you because the trees help you breathe. So, so you don't really want to cut down trees. Unless people are making houses, but there's plenty more around the world. So I wanted, so I wanted to tell that you should, that if in order you're making something, it's okay to cut trees a little bit sometimes, but you shouldn't do it all the time because the trees help you breathe. No trees, you can't breathe. So that's all. That's all the advice that I want to tell you. Bye.
And if you feel like you need a little more motivation and inspiration for today, I recommend clicking this video over here. It's Sylvester Stallone's story of how he started the movie Rocky. He was offered $300,000, which he turned down because he wanted to star in the movie of the, of the script that he wrote in just 24 hours. It's a really amazing story. I recommend clicking that video now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, be safe. Thank you for watching.